Hello and welcome to this week's weekly video. Today's question is around Revit architecture and they want to know how to place materials or add materials to a buffet they created and placed in their project. Now I'm going to assume that that buffet is a family, an external piece of content that they modeled and then placed inside their project file. So an RFA file being placed into an RVT file. Let's go ahead and jump over to the software and just take a peek at how this would work. So I set up just a little scene here and dropped in some existing furniture that ships with the application to show you how ideally you might want to make this work. If I go into the properties of that furniture, you can see that I have materials and finishes as parameters. So I have a top material and a base material that I can control for this particular table. So we'll change the base material for these tables from wood cherry to wood pine. Now the change here is really subtle. It's just a different shade of orange. So you may not be able to tell, but I think you get the general concept of what we're doing. We want to be able to control the material applied to our furniture to the family from the project. So let's go ahead and create a new family to act as our buffet. And to do that, we want to grab a furniture template. Now, depending on what you're doing, you may get a different template. You just want to make sure you get the right category for the content you're creating. Now, in the furniture template, if you haven't built families before, you'll see some reference lines that you can start working from. Anytime you create families, it's a good idea to place reference planes and then snap geometry to those planes. And then you can develop parameters to control width and height and depth and those sorts of things about your uh, particular piece of content. Now as I lay this out, I want to make it clear that this is not a tutorial on how to create families because there's several aspects of what I'm doing that I would want to explain to you. Um, I'm also not going to do everything exactly the way you probably should do it. I just want to throw a family together, something I can use, apply the material to, and then show how that functions inside my project. So what I've done up to this point is just dropped in reference planes. I've then put dimensions on the reference planes that I can use to snap to as I model my geometry. So the dimensions I'm putting in will give me a surface area at the top of my buffet that will be six feet by two feet in size. Now that I've laid those out, I'm ready to go back to my home ribbon and create an extrusion. The first extrusion I'll do is just the countertop. So I'll go ahead and grab a rectangle. Again, I'm snapping to those reference lines. And I'll draw in the shape of my countertop. I'm in the plan view. And then I'll put in my extrusion start and end. I want the countertop to start at three feet and go up to three foot six. So nice thick six inch countertop. Next, I'll finish that extrusion and create another extrusion specifically for the legs or the base or you know whatever it is that you're modeling. And I know this isn't exactly what a buffet would look like, but again, it gives us something to work with. I'm going to go ahead and just sketch in loosely where the legs of this uh, piece of furniture would go. And then I'll create them as an extrusion as well. And I'll start at a zero inch base and we'll go up to three feet. So I have two extrusions that make up my piece of furniture. And with that, I can finish my second extrusion and we'll switch to a 3D view to take a peek at what we've modeled up. At this point, all we've done is create the geometry from scratch. I wanted to show you a piece of content that doesn't have anything set up or applied to it. So you would you know, be starting from the same point as me. So there's our geometry, and now I'm ready to start talking about materials. How do we apply the materials? So I'm going to select one of my extrusions, look at the properties of it, and you can see there's a material option. If I hit the More button, I can come in and assign a material. But this is more or less fixed to that countertop, so when I use it, it'll always have that material. But if you want more control, then the button next to that allows you to associate a family parameter to that material option. So from here, I can create a new parameter. We'll call it material. It can be an instance or a type parameter, depending on how you want to control it. And by the way, instance allows each counter in the project to have a different material if you set it up that way. And now that I have a parameter to control material, I can click on my family types and parameters for, that cert for this family and see that option listed there. And then when I use it in the project, I'll have the ability to control that and change it. 
So the key is that secret button next to material when you select the solid from your family. So look for that button and they call this out in the help menu if you can't find it later. But I'll go ahead and save my project. We'll call this buffet. I'll go and load it into my, my model, my scene that we looked at earlier with the tables. And now I'll just place a couple of these that we can use for reference. So maybe along this back wall. And I must say that's a pretty good looking piece of furniture that I built. <laughs> All right, now that we've placed a couple of them, let's switch over to our camera view that we were looking at earlier. And there's our new piece of furniture. And I'll select it, go into Edit Type, and now I see that material control that I added earlier. From there, I can change the material to any of them that I have loaded into this project or create a new one, of course. And then I'll see that material in my scene and then, you know, as you probably know, if I render the scene out, then I'm going to see the rendered or the image version of that material. And with that, we have come to the close of this week's question. Hopefully it helps you better understand how materials can be applied to families using the Revit application. Thank you so much for watching.